Hello, welcome back. Let's move on. Today we want to、uh, keep exploring some Python feature、uh, by using the input. Okay, input allows us to type、uh, our you know data input from the keyboard. Okay, let's dive in. Okay, let's run the Python. Or、oh, you may want to use a Python or Python three. Okay. So,、uh, for example, I want to、uh, do some calculation. For example, I want to show、um, my name and、uh, simply print my name、uh, together with some Python some message. Okay. So,、uh, of course, you can define your name.、Uh, this time, I type Chinese because the Python support a Unicode. Okay. And then you can print,、uh, for example, uh, uh, you can use the print function. My name is okay. Okay, this function now、uh, separate by a、uh, command, right?、Uh, this we call the calling this print function. And with two argument, the first argument,、uh, first input element, element is a string. My name is space. Another argument is actually a variable. Okay. So you can see the result. They just show my name is da da da. Okay. And、uh, we can see there's a、uh, the space here. It seems a、uh, more space here. Let me change my code. Okay, in the interactive mode, you can use a arrow. Okay, kind of Python will remember、uh, what you have typed previously, so that you can kind of、uh, speed up your exploring. Okay, what about I use this way? Oh, you may find the Python will automatically add a space between the two two arguments, right? Um, let's see.、Uh, because last time we talked about we can kind of use a, a plus sign、uh, for string concatenation. Okay, to join to string.、Uh, to see if I can use another way. But this time, if I use a plus, let's see the result. Do you see the difference? Can you see the difference? Okay. Oh, if we use the plus, okay. Ah,、uh, in this case, they will consider this print only take one argument, but this one is actually, ah,、uh, my name is this single single, ah,、uh, string.、Uh, together with name, when they join together. As a new string, they will take as an input. They will consider it as one input for this print function. Okay, so to prevent, ah,、uh, to make it much much more beautiful,、uh, not much more, just a little bit. You need to handle your own kind of separation, ah,、uh, with blank. Yeah, this is a quite simple uh, try uh, and error.、Um, I cannot do this for you.、Uh, I hope that you know that it is under your control. There's not there's not the only single way to achieve the things. Now I would like to change my code a little bit. I want to take my name. Uh, from a real input, not a pre-assign into my code, because I'm using, uh, uh, I'm using kind of、uh, because I have declared right. I've declared name here. It's a predefined right. So、uh, I would like to change my code a little bit.、Uh, I would like to introduce a new function called input. Okay,、uh, this this input function、uh, you can actually take the argument 
what what your name okay uh, but if you use a what uh, kind of apostrophe Python will kind of uh, give you some harsh time because uh, they cannot tell the boundary of the the this okay so how do you, how do you do this uh, there are two solutions okay you can use a double quote as your boundary of the string or you can escape the apostrophe uh, apostrophe symbol okay let's try this okay mm, so let's try the first way you use a double double quote this time yeah what's your name okay my name okay I input okay they will get they will uh, they will complete wrong this and now you can print you can print the name yeah actually your input is already inside the variable of course if you now run uh, my name is this plus name you can achieve the result okay so uh, of course you can rerun uh, ask the input name again okay now I want to make it look uh, a little bit better uh, so I'm going to put a uh, uh, put a uh, what do we call this we call it a column right yeah Colin and here what's your name my name uh, mr. Chen okay and name yeah now your name has been changed uh, mr. Chen instead of the Chinese uh, Chen and Yu. okay so this is uh, uh, really really important because uh, most of the time I'll take the our program take the input according to the user's need right so different user may input differently so be sure to know about uh, how to use this okay that's it uh, so in this exercise we exercise how to use the input and the put it into the name and we use a uh, print to output it okay uh, maybe in later exercise uh, when we talk about for loop okay if you want to keep asking again and again and again you can put this kind of logic inside the for loop okay until you type maybe bye bye okay yeah so when we in that section let's practice that okay shall we but for now it's time to say goodbye bye bye See you next time.